Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Roxanne and on this channel I have all sorts of nail content. Demos, hauls, how-tos, you name it. In this video I'm going to show you how I apply full cover nail tips so they last for three weeks or better. If you're interested then please just keep watching. Hi my babies. I hope you're all feeling amazing and doing well. So as you guys can see, we are jumping right in. So you guys, my client for the day is my niece. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to clip off some of this free edge and I'm going to try to even out her nails. So you guys see I'm taking my nail clipper and I'm just going to clip the free edge of her pinky and her index fingernail. I don't think anything else needs to be clipped, but once I have this taken care of you guys, I am gonna go in with my 180 grit hand file and I'm going to begin to smooth out her free edge. Um, you guys, I'm also going to be using this hand file to create or to begin to create a little bit of texture on the um, natural nail plate. So I'm gonna hush, I'm gonna let you guys watch this part in the process and I'll be back in when it's time for the next step. I'll hush. You watch. Hey there, enjoying my content? Well, if you are and you haven't already, why don't you consider subscribing to my channel? It's free. You can leave me a like and also comment below and let me know what you wanna see next. So my babies, now that I have that taken care of you guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and begin to push back her eponychium so we can expose that dead cuticle. And you guys, by the way, the eponychium is the live skin or the area of live skin that is around the cuticle area and around the nail bed. Um, and then the cuticle is the actual white flaky dead skin that is rested on the nail plate and around the nail area, if that makes sense. So two different things, I hope that helps you guys. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push back her cuticle, I'm sorry, push back her eponychium to expose the dead cuticle. And then once I have this taken care of you guys, I will go in with my e-file. And I do like to use several bits when it comes to cleaning or, or removing the cuticle, the dead skin cuticle from that area. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start off with my cone bit. And you guys, I really do enjoy using this bit. Now, I will say I don't use this bit on everyone. Um, it really depends on how your nails are uh, structured or set up. She has really deep side pockets or really nice deep side pockets. So I like to use this bit for that just to make sure that I clean out that area really well um, without taking any of her actual nail from the nail plate, if that makes sense. Like I'm not trying to necessarily even work on the nail itself. I'm just trying to lift the skin that's dead around it. Once I have that taken care of you guys, I'm gonna go in with this ball bit. And I love this ball bit you guys because this is gonna smooth out the work that I just did. So this is basically helping to remove any dead skin as well. But this also gives that area a nice smooth finish so that, um, you know, there are no pokey parts, if you will. I hope 
that makes sense, you guys. <laughs> but now that I have this taken care of, I am gonna go in now with this small ball bit. And what I'm doing with this small ball bit, you guys, is I'm using this ball bit to remove the cuticle or dead skin that is laying on the actual epinicium. So that means the dead skin is right up on the live skin. So I'm using this ball bit because number one, it's gentle. And then number two, it also polishes off that epinicium area and it takes care of any of the dead skin that is um, rested on that area. Y'all, I know this was a lot. I'm gonna hush. I'm actually tired of talking, so I'm gonna let you guys watch and I'll be back in when it's time for the next step in the process. Okay, my baby, so now that I have all of that taken care of, I could have actually skipped this step because I did already buff, um, buff her nail surface to create that texture I needed, but I am using this um, sanding band as a dual purpose. So number one, I'm also using it just to make sure that I don't have any more dead skin on the nail, on the nail plate or the surrounding area. And then number two, I'm making sure that I buff the nail plate really well so that we can create texture so that the base gel and everything else has something good to stick onto. So it does use or does serve two purposes for me here. So that is the reason you guys see me using my sanding band. Um, my e-file is at a speed of about four or 5,000 RPMs. Like it's not fast at all. I'm using absolutely no pressure. So yeah, um, this is after I've gone in and I've cleansed the nails, you guys. Um, now I'm just going in with my dehydrator and I actually didn't even need to use my dehydrator, you guys, because I used alcohol to cleanse the nail. So I technically didn't even need to use dehydrator, but if we're talking about making nails last and longevity and all of that, um, I like to use dehydrator and primer sets. So if I use a um, Young Nails primer, I'm typically going to be using a Young Nails swipe or a Young Nails dehydrator, you know what I mean, that type of thing. So now that I have that taken care of you guys, I did go ahead and add primer off camera. So now I'm just going in with my base gel and I'm just going to add one thin layer of base gel to these nails, y'all. And I am not trying to create layers. I'm literally just trying to add a nice, thin, smooth layer so we can go ahead and begin adhering my nail tips. So you guys will see, I am just taking my time and making sure that the layer is nice and thin. Um, once I have this taken care of y'all, I will of course allow her to fully cure this gel um, in my LED UV lamp for about 60 seconds. Um, so now that I have that taken care of you guys, I am gonna go in and I'm going to begin to adhere the nail. My babies, I apologize because due to my lamp being in the um, shot, it is obviously taking away from the focus of the nails, so I apologize. But I'm gonna do my best to explain what you guys see me doing or how I you know, move through this process. And also y'all, um, another disclaimer, you guys are not gonna see how much product or how much base gel I actually put into the well of the nail. Um, I do show that in several of my other videos. I'll try to remember to link one in the cards above or down in the description box so you guys can see how much base gel I do use. Um, but yeah, you guys. Um, so I'm just taking the full cover nail tip. And of course, like I mentioned, I did add some base gel to it. And now I'm using my 45 degree angle and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to place down that full cover tip and I'm going to guide that base gel down the nail. Um, once the base gel hits her free edge, I do bring the nail up to do a quick little flash cure using this gooseneck lamp that is taking up all of the glory, y'all. But yeah, um, once I have this taken care of, you guys, I do have her to put her hand in my UV lamp to um, fully cure the base gel for about 60 seconds. So now you guys see me going in with my nail clipper and I'm just going to go ahead and begin to clip these nails down to size. You guys, I'm gonna hush. I'm gonna let you guys watch. I'll be back in in about two seconds. I'll hush, you watch. Thank you. 
Okay, y'all, so now that I have that taken care of, I'm gonna go ahead and begin to shape these nails. So I'm gonna create a stiletto nail for this fingernail as well as the index fingernail. Um, and the way I'm doing that, you guys, I'm just taking my 80, 80 grit hand file and I'm going in at the free edge of the nail at about a 45 degree angle. And I'm just gonna continue to do that on both sides of the nail um, until I can bring this nail in to a point. Um, and one thing I did want to mention you guys is that every so often I do take the hand file underneath the nail just to make sure that I'm removing the bulk. Um, because for me, I just see the shape better if there's nothing underneath that clear tip. So that may be a tip for you guys as well. So I just want to share that. Um, but once I have this shape taken care of you guys, I am going to go ahead and just move on to the other two nails. Um, and the ring fingernail and the middle fingernail on this hand, as well as the thumb, will just be a standard square shape. So I'm going to hush. I'm going to let you guys watch me shape these nails. And I'll be back in when it's time for the next step in the process. One tip I did have for you guys too, if you want to do this nail set and you're going to do these little fang nails with the index fingernail and the pinky, make sure that when you cut the tip, you cut these nails a little bit longer than the rest of the nails on the um, in the set because, because of the stiletto shape, they need to just be a little, little bit longer. So when you guys are cutting these nails out or when you're clipping the nails to your desired length, make sure that you have your index finger and your pinky nail a little bit longer than the others. So just wanted to come in and tell you guys that as well. I'm gonna hush now, I'll hush again, and I'll be back in when it's time for the next step in the process. So my babies, now that we have these nails on and they are nice and shaped, I'm just gonna take my sanding bit, my e-file, and I'm going to begin to create the texture that is needed for my gel products. So I do have an 80-80 grit um, sanding band on my e-file, and I have my e-file at a speed of about 8,000 RPMs, and I'm just going to go ahead, and I'm first going to take care of that space that I created when I applied the full cover nail tips. Um, you guys, if you've watched my videos before, um, you will know when I apply full cover nail tips, I don't go all the way up to the epinicium area. I personally like the finish when there's just a little bit of a gap. So yeah, y'all. Um, that is what you guys see me doing here. I'm just taking my e-file and my sanding bit, like I said, and I'm just gonna go up and around that epinicium area, and then I'm going to bring the sanding bit down the nail to create that texture that is needed for base gel, gel polish, and all of that good stuff. So yeah, y'all, um, I'm gonna hush. I'll let you guys watch. I'll be back in in two seconds. All right, my babies, so now that I have that taken care of, I am going to just, for checks and balances sake, check the free edge of these nails. So I'm taking my 80, 80 grit hand file, you guys, and I'm just going to make sure that the free edge is exactly what we are going for. So that is what you guys see me doing here. Now, y'all, I apologize because for some reason, 
I don't know why, but for some reason, the footage of me adding my base gel and the gel polish and my little nail art is missing, you guys. And so I'm not able to show you guys that. But as you guys can see, I'm now applying my um, alcohol just to make sure that I cleanse these nails. And here is how the nails turned out, you guys. I think they came out so, so super cute. And y'all, when I apply my um, full cover nail tips this way and I prep the natural nail this way, they last for over three weeks. Um, this is actually uh, three weeks later that I'm showing you guys this actual nail set. And I'm just getting ready to do a new nail set on my niece now. As you guys can see, all of the nails have lasted with not any lifting whatsoever so yeah i'm super duper proud of my application and my prep you guys i hope you enjoyed this video please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know what you want to see next and tell a friend to tell a friend baby because we are learning and loving around here i love y'all so much until next time y'all